In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most common things that I see that actually happens with people when they take reishi for a regular and consistent period of time. It's something that's happened to me consistently over the entire time that I've been taking it. And it's also something that's happening to, I can think of at least three, four, maybe five people that it's happening to right now. So basically, what happens when we start taking reishi is that sometimes what's called a healing crisis kind of ensues. Now, you might think, oh, why would we want to do this? Why would we want to go through something like this? Well, actually, it's a positive thing because it allows us to really get to problems, imbalances, issues, whether mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, that have kind of been operating under the radar. It may be causing us you know, indigestion or causing us you know, liver problems or kidney problems or whatever it might be that's causing us to feel just kind of not right and just think in the back of our mind like, you know, something's not right, I'm not really sure what it is. So our usual response to that is, oh well, forget it, or oh well, let me get a medication, or oh well, maybe I'll just hope maybe one day I'll figure it out. So that's why reishi comes into the picture there is that we start taking it and all of a sudden all of these things that are either repressed or deep-seated or things that we just didn't really want to deal with start to really come up to the surface and start to actually have the ability to be processed and integrated and transformed by our conscious awareness. Meaning usually when we have problems, we have imbalances, we have traumas, what have you, we tend to handle them like a child does when it wants to clean its room. You know, if you were like me when I was a kid, when it was time to clean my room, I didn't really look forward to it. So what I did is I took all the junk and all the crap and all the toys and all the clothes and everything that was on the floor, I either cram it all under, under the bed or put it all in the closet. So what happens is eventually you're not going to be able to fit anything else under the bed. You're not going to be able to fit anything else in the closet. And as soon as you open it up, everything's going to come spilling out and boom, there it is. And you have this huge mess on your hand, which coincidentally seems to be how humanity at this time is handling its problems. For example, look at how we handle our waste. What do we do? Oh, we have all this garbage. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let's just bury it under the ground and maybe later we'll deal with it. It's like, it's the same, it's the same process of, that I did when I was a kid when I had all this junk in my room and I didn't know where to put it. Just crammed it all the way somewhere hoping it would go away. So oftentimes this is how we handle emotions, handle imbalances, handle problems. We just kind of bury them away. So reishi can often be that, that stimulus that can kind of help all of these things come to the surface to where we can actually deal with them, process them, and let them go. And the benefit of that is of course, more balance, more health, more energy, all of these things. Because in the Chinese mind, in the Chinese point of view, philosophy, paradigm, these kinds of traumas, imbalances, uh, are really just energetic blockages. So we're not getting the nourishment that we need, we're not getting the energy that we need because we're blocked from all of these things. So what we do is we overeat, we overindulge, we live a life of excess and imbalance to make up for the fact that at a root fundamental level. We're not getting the energy that we need to get because of all of these things that are blocking us up. So Reishi is really good for helping us to just have the adaptive ability, the spirit power, the energetic power to then process and deal with these things. Because why we bury them, why we put them away is because say something happens to us when we're really young, we don't have the consciousness, we don't have the tools to deal with it, to how to understand it, to process it. So our body, our mind, our system, whatever, just basically puts kind of a little bubble around it and just puts it away somewhere, whether you know in the lymphatic system, in an organ, in the energy system, wherever it might be, depending on what it is, so that maybe later in life when we get the ability to deal with it, we can deal with it. So just like when we're a kid, we don't have the tool to deal with it, reishi is that tool that can help us deal with it. But we have to know, we have to understand that herbs can't do it for us. We have to have the conscious intention, we have to have the willingness and the awareness to actually change, to actually process, and to actually let these things go, and to allow them to just basically move on. So again, going through this process in the short term can seem like a bad thing. It can seem like, oh, this sucks, I'm aware of all of these problems, I'm aware of these things that are wrong or imbalanced, but actually that's a good thing because most people many people in fact never get to that point they spend their life you know medicating 
in denial, going from specialist to specialist, going from meditation thing to meditation thing, and just jumping all around, but never actually getting inside and figuring out the root cause, which typically, in my opinion, is an emotional or a mental or a spiritual kind of disturbance that we either inherited or happened to us when we were, you know, in the womb, when we were an infant, when we were very young, or just through the course of growing up. And these things, again, form crystallizations in our energy system that block us and cause us to lead a life of imbalance or overeating or lack of sleep or excess or all of these things to overcompensate and make up for the fact that at our root level, we're feeling blocked and just not feeling right. So that's a very common thing that I see happening with Reishi. It's definitely happened to me. It's definitely something that just keeps happening and just keeps occurring because as humans, we have this miraculous ability to be able to lie to ourselves and fool ourselves into thinking we have everything figured out and we, we know what's what and we know exactly what to do. But in reality, most of the time we don't and most of the time we're wrong or we're just kind of guessing. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.